Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, and a wonderful start to 2023. I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas and a great New Year's. We're going to start 2023 by getting back on the Honda. i got to get these, these bugs all worked out. I've got misfires here, and the bike just needs to be in the floor of progress to get done. I'm ready. I'm so eager to get this thing back on the road. So without further ado, let's run that intro, and I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing with the bike today. All right, so before I get started um, and explaining on the bike really quick, um, I did buy some new parts uh, for the bike, which are up here. I had to go and buy some new controls because these other ones, uh, they just, the, this cluster here just was not working. I don't know what I did wrong. I just, I got tired of jacking with it and I'm going to go back to the original. But if you notice here, you see how this is really shiny right in here? I don't know if you can see with the camera, but then on the top, it looks really cloudy. All this stuff here can really use some shining and buffing, and I want to clean that up. So I went to Ace Hardware and I bought a buffing wheel. And I'm going to take this, hook it up to my grinder up here, and hopefully with these three stages of a uh, you know compound to polish, I can get this to you know kind of shine up. These things here, they really look like they, like they can use some tender loving and care. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to you know shine these things up just a smidge and see if it works before I reinstall them on the bike. Now, um, another thing is um, I can't keep uh, these handlebars on the bike because for some reason they just they, they keep rolling down and I can't keep them stationary. They won't stay put no matter how tight I, I clamp these things down. So. I will have to remove um, these handlebars and I gotta swap them out with, I'm probably gonna put the originals back on, uh, or at least the ones I bu bought the bike with. Um, so actually I do apologize, but these handlebars have got to come off the bike. But the good thing is these are still in excellent condition and I will be putting them on a future project. So they will not go to waste, count on that, okay? So, uh, once again, I, I apologize, Ash. I know you, you did a great job. I will, I will tell you this. You did a fantastic job by putting them on. This was not your, your fault here. For some reason, these just aren't grabbing, and I don't know why. But uh, that was not your fault. You did a fantastic job on the installation. All right, so pressing on. Uh, we covered that. Now, as for the bike, uh, when I take it outside to go to start it, it runs, but unfortunately, I have misfires. And, and I, I keep getting some gas coming out the back sometimes, and just something's not right. I got a really rich mixture somewhere, or it's just not burning. Okay, well, what I'm thinking is I'm going to start from the least expensive repair, which would be spark plugs. You start at the ignition point, right? I know I've got compression, I checked them. I know I've got fuel, it's perfect. Trust me, it's coming out the exhaust pipe. <laughs> and I've, I've got fire because after 30 minutes of running, all four of them pipes were nice and hot. I, I, I ran it for a good while. But what I'm thinking is I'm gonna start at the least expensive possible repair which would cause these things to not run right. And that would be uh, misfiring from a uh, improper gap on the spark plugs themselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these spark plugs and I'm going to run them uh, over this spark plug gap right here, if possible, and, uh, and see if the gap is too small or too big. If it's too big, then that would explain a lot. If it's too small, that's, that's okay. It's fine. Now, uh, what happens is if the, spark, if the spark plug gap is too big, then that spark itself is too weak. And if there's a rich mixture with a weak spark, it is not gonna give you combustion uh, or any ignition whatsoever. It just, it, it keeps drowning it out, it just won't work. If the spark plug gap is small, then that spark is actually gonna be strong and it's gonna provide a really hot spark, really regardless of any kind of mixture you put in the cylinder, it's gonna combust everything. 
So I want to give it its best shot at combusting every bit of fuel that goes inside the engine. Now what I'm thinking is possible that gap is too big, which is why I got one of these things. Any mechanic that sees one of these will know that these are just a pain in the ass to keep around. I've got like five of these damn things, and I couldn't find a single freaking one, so I had to run up to AutoZone and go buy this one. But uh, anyway, I'm going to use this to check the gaps on all the spark plugs. So anyway, I'm going to grab my tools really quick. I'm going to uh, get the, get these spark plugs out of here, check the gaps, see what it is, uh, reset them if I have to. Um, because um, I think the plugs are new. When I bought the bike, the guy said he replaced the plugs and the plug wires and the, and the coils. So he was he was chasing it down by being a parts changer. So I don't know if that's going to be my problem. If it if it turns out that that is my problem, then I'm good to go. The bike shouldn't have misfires and it and it will run fine. However, if it's if it continues to have misfires, then it tells me that the spark plugs are good. The plug wires are fine. The ignition coils are okay, and then I have to backtrack it to the next thing down the line, which should probably either be this little box here, or what I'm dreading is going to be this CDI on the side. So, I don't know. We shall see. Let me go ahead and get my tools, and now uh, start tearing into the spark plug. See how wet that is? Yeah, that came out of the first cylinder. And I don't know if you guys can see the gap here it's between this electrode and the hood that comes over. That right there, I think that's probably gonna be the right gap. A lot of your spark plugs are gonna already come pre-gapped right out of the box. A lot of times they are, but don't always trust it. All right. But this is wet. That tells me the uh, the operating conditions inside the cylinder. So it tells me that it's not getting fire right away. Otherwise, all this fuel here would have been burned off. So let me wipe it clean. Yeah, see, it's supposed to be dry like that right now. Now it's not burning. It's not white, like charred white. And if it was white, that means it'd be a lean mixture. So that's that's actually good. It's not. Ooh. There's a very wow. All right. Uh, actually, no. I think it was between three and four thousandths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one here, it's stopping me. Right at. Two and two and a half thousandths. So I think that that's actually too narrow. So let's, let's open up just a smidge, just a smidge. I'm gonna put it right at the three thousand mark. They're gonna be like, why'd you do that? Okay, so it's right at three thousandths. We're gonna leave it there. So that spark should be good. So between three and four thousandths, not eight, nine thousandths. This will make, oh my god. But yeah, I think that is what we're looking for. So, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and put this one back in and uh, continue on with the other cylinders and see what we got. 
This one was uh, this cylinder here. I'm going to get on to the next one. Okay. I'm going to pull that one out. Let's see where we stand. Cylinder two. See, that one's real wet, too. It tells me it's a really mix, really rich mixture. It's supposed to be dry. Back in you go. And these terminals look good too. It's making good contact. These are uh, these are NGK, but these are also these are copper. These are not iridium. I would prefer iridium, but. Not perfect. All right, here we go. Come on, don't fall. There you go. See this one here. See this one's dry. This is not very rich. That's good. Okay, so now that I've already, I checked all the gaps. The front looks like it's it's rich. The these three were kind of rich, but this one back here was not, which I'm okay with. Um, we're gonna see what happens. All right, pull this out. We're gonna see. Start now. This one's hot, but this one's cold. Now, that one's warming up. That ain't running right. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's annoying. Missing. Hear it? A little popcorn popping. on that side. Alright. Well, that's going to be it for that. Alright, well, at least we know the gaps on the plugs are to spec now. Uh, the next step is going to be... I really don't know if I have to check the wires because, I mean... The wires are brand new. I've already inspected them. The wires look great. The coils look good. I've already ohmed them out. They're providing spark to both sides. So I think 
very possible that the next step is going to be these boxes here. So they have a, an ignition system uh, for a, you know a new stator, new little box here, and a rectifier regulator for like 80 bucks, and uh, and that's really not going to hurt me on too much. So I'm probably going to go ahead and I'm going to do that next. Um, but fortunately, that just that does not settle with me, man. That sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong. The bike sounds good. I like it. But I'm going to put that radiator back before I call it a night. But I cannot wait to clean this up and put the new handlebars on. Well, put the handlebars back on. It starts pretty well. Yeah, it's not supposed to hesitate like that. Yeah, it's too much gas. So, something's not working out. I think it's probably going to be the CDI box. That's that's what I'm thinking. But, um, I don't know. I need to run a, a check on the stator here. I got to figure out the stator is actually putting out the right amount of power to provide for spark. Because if it's not, it'll also cause it to hesitate like that as well. And uh, when I was riding down the road, whenever I go to give it some throttle, you can just... It would, it would bog and eventually get to the point where it would want to die and I'd start it back up and run okay in neutral but you put it in gear and once it's under load man it just it didn't want to give you squat and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and it got to the point where you couldn't even put any throttle into it when it was in gear it just it got to the point where it just said no I'm not doing it mm -mm, nope <laughs> so <coughs> anyway uh well, that's going to be a wrap for uh, this evening's video, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've done everything I'm going to do with the spark plugs for right now. Um, but, but, I will not give up. Because I know for a fact this bike has got potential. And I know for a fact that this channel must go on. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, taking this thing out on, on road trips and stuff and taking you guys along with me. So, um, well, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to give up on this bike. It's, it's showing me problems. It's talking to me. I just need to translate what it's telling me, you know. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Don't you worry about that. I'll figure it out. I always do. Uh well with that being said ladies and gentlemen I hope, hope you guys enjoyed the video um, and all the content in it if you guys happen to like the content please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel um, and until next time y'all take it easy I love you bye